I'm gonna start this one off with saying that this is probably my favorite painting so far. It all started off with me just drawing a simple mushroom and very gradually I started making it into this magical city. And this just comes to show that we can get our inspiration really suddenly if we just start drawing. It's very common to get lost in this hell of no inspiration and zero motivation. But trust me guys, just start drawing and the inspiration will come to you. With that said, I have to say that I fucked up a bit with this one. Cause it took me almost a week to finish. That's also why it's two weeks since the last video. And I wanted to just do a quick painting in two to three hours. Yeah, that's something I have to work on. I realized that my ability to make paintings based on the time I have is literally zero. Let me know in the comments if you also struggle with this one. This painting is by the way the first time I tried to draw some steampunk style stuff and I think it turned out pretty good. I really wanted to focus on the sense of scale in this painting but unfortunately I didn't quite nail it. But I got really interested in this idea of making these magical cities by upscaling the different things and putting some small creatures in there, making it more alive. I'll definitely make some more paintings using this idea. You can suggest me ideas in the comments. For example, I could make a flower field city, or a carpet city, or even a fridge city. The options are literally infinite, so just let me know if you have any ideas. I realized that this is probably the best way to get inspiration for drawing. Just imagine an unrealistic society living in an unrealistic environment. Now you can ask different questions like What do their houses look like? How is the city powered? What would their version of smartphone look like? What political beliefs do they have? And most importantly, what do these creatures even look like? There is an infinite amount of questions, but you get the point. Now your job is to answer these questions. And that's in my opinion the most fun part of every artwork. You are basically playing God. Just creating an entire custom world with your custom rules, politics, style, structure, beliefs and even physics. And just by doing this you get even more inspiration for different stuff resulting in a never-ending loop of inspiration. Every artist's true dream. You are welcome. You can thank me by subscribing so you don't miss any further divine knowledge created in my ever-expanding, all-knowing brain. By the way guys, let me know if you like the painting process like this, in two camera angles, or if it would be better to just export the time-lapse from clips to the paint so you can watch it that way. Also, I know that one camera angle is darker than the other one, that's because one angle is recording on my GoPro, which is really bad indoors, and if I would make exposure any bigger, the footage would be very grainy. So I had to keep it darker, but I hope it's alright. I was also thinking about streaming and I decided that when we reach a couple more subs, I will also start streaming here on YouTube from time to time like once every two weeks or so. So just be ready for it. And that's all I got to say. Like, share, subscribe and enjoy the rest of the painting process.